Hello, uh, my name is Jose Maria Condemi, and I am the director and chair of Opera Musical Theatre at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music, and I'm here to answer some of the most frequently asked questions by prospective students. The acting and movement classes that we have, which are separate from the ensembles, you know, other schools have opera workshop and they do productions, you know, we do all of that. But in addition, we have a quite unique and comprehensive roster of acting and movement classes. Um, and uh, we offer them every year. And um, there's two, or two acting teachers, two movement teachers. Um, so th I think that that is unique. And um, any student that, um, any voice student actually, not just uh, those that are taking part in the opera program, but any voice student, and actually instrumentalists as well. We've had instrumentalists in our acting classes. They can take advantage of this and take them, you know, one semester or a whole year and come back and do it again the following year. Uh, I think that is very unique. And I don't really know of any other schools that have uh, just the number um, of different acting and movement classes and the, the number of teachers and qualified teachers that we have. We have a number of performances, uh, which they range from the usual black box format for, let's say, opera workshop scenes that we do twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. And then we have um, fully produced operas. We have a chamber opera uh, and another uh, one in the fall for the chamber opera in the spring and a fall opera. These are fully staged with sets and costumes. And our main event is the spring opera, which happens sometime in late March and April, uh, which is also fully staged and with ample resources. Uh, the musical theater uh, track of the program also does a more um, chamber or cabaret style production and a larger musical every year. So we have at least um, four fully staged productions and at least three uh, black box or uh, more minimal um, events. It's great training for an opera singer to take part in musical theater. And as we know, more and more companies and you know, these programs are programming musical theater titles as part of the repertoire. So we always encourage everybody to take part in both if they can. We are very proud of both our movement and acting classes. Um, our acting teachers, we have two of them. They are both terrific and they uh, offer not only different levels or yeah, different levels of acting, but also different techniques or approaches. We're also very proud to have quite a number of rather unique uh, courses. We have a basic movement class taught by, by our own Michael Mohammed, who is also the director of the musical theater track. And he teaches this class in the fall and it's um, basic movement and choreography class. In the spring, we get a little more uh, specialized and we have John Walton, who teaches a uh, social and historical dance, historical dance class. And this is um, a practical survey of dances from the 18th century to the 20th. Each year it changes a little bit. You know, we assume that students stay with us for two or four years. So, you know, sometimes we focus more on, or she will teach more like Baroque dances through the end of the 19th, 19th century, or sometimes she goes more into the 20th century. Um, but, you know, students will learn how to dance a polka and a waltz um, and maybe foxtrot and tango. So it's, we're very proud of what we offer in the acting and movement uh, department. We're aware that a comprehensive training in opera should include operas from all the different periods and styles that they're normally performed. So in addition to the usual Mozart and Rossini and Bellini, uh, maybe even, you know, Benjamin Britten or 
early 20th century composers. We also make a point of programming newer work. All students are required to um, provide a certain number of hours as crew in our shows. Um, we hire a professional crew and you know we hire a professional stage manager and a professional scene shop builds our sets and we have a costumer and professional makeup artists, but we also require students to crew for us, which means they will uh, participate and help in the loading in and out of sets, or they may be an assistant stage manager, or they may act as a props uh, person along alongside um, the professionals. So they, there's a built-in chance for them to learn about the technical aspects of theater if they choose to. Um, as for directing, uh, we've done some winter term courses in directing that were specific for singers to learn how to direct. And uh, actually, we've had a couple of alumni that after leaving SFCM, they become interested in being directors. And one of them actually is actually our main um, assistant director now, and he occasionally directs as well. His name is Sergi. So um, for those interested in directing, uh, there may be opportunities here and there for, for them to explore that. The way we, it works is that everybody that is admitted into the voice department um, can audition for us. The auditions usually take place um, the week before classes begin as part of the orientation week. Um, anybody can apply, anybody can audition, and we really give everybody the, a fair chance. Uh, but our goal is always to double cast because not only gives more opportunities, but it also allows us to have a backup. So if somebody gets sick or needs to take a week off for vocal rest during rehearsals, then we know we have somebody else who can fill in. We really try to, uh, we teach and we mentor and we coach the students, uh, always trying to take them to the, their next level uh, not everybody wants to have a professional career in opera, but for us, we, we assume they do. So our standards are very high. And um, myself, I come from the professional world and I'm still active professionally. So I know very well what is expected and required of a young singer trying to embark in a professional career. So I always keep that in mind. Um, so for us, it's a matter of striking a balance between uh, preparing them for the professional world while also uh, realizing, you know, we have time. It's usually a two-year program if you're a master's student or a four-year program. So um, that gives us time to, to build skills and to give each student a chance to improve over a longer period. But we always remind them, you know, once you get out of school, you're not going to have all this time. So let's say uh, we're doing um, a scenes program. That may take an entire semester for us because you know, we only maybe we meet twice or three times a week and we do that and as we do that i'm always reminding them you know once you get out of school let's say you get admitted into your artist program you may do a scenes program like the one we just did but you're going to have a week or you're going to have two weeks now you're going to meet every day so in the end you may meet for the same number of hours but it's going to be more compact so you got to be ready you have to be prepared and ready to go on the first day because you, you, you will not have the cushion of time as you do have here in school. So we, we do both, you know, we, we, we teach um, as any school does over a longer period, but then we always remind the students that the, um, outside of school, you know, times are shorter uh, and uh, the expectation is high.